So today we're going to be making mashed potato fried. It's one of my good favorite dishes. Got a bit of bacon in there, mashed potato, then you fry it up. Beautiful. Me and we Carter here, we're making it. And yeah. So we've already got the potatoes out. Focus on there. We've got the potatoes out. So, you know, just going to peel them. And then chop them up. Boil them for a bit, mash them, fry them. So we're back. Caddy's loving it so far, he's going to sleep. But we've got the uh, potatoes over here, all nicely peeled. Just going to go ahead now, chop them up, and then put them in the water, and we should be good to go. You want to chop these in half, depending on the size of your potato. Take them here, put them into a pot of water. Put them into a pot of water. Put it on high. And wait for it to boil. So we're starting to get a slight boil now. Should only be about 10 minutes and we should be good to, you know, mash it up hopefully. I'm not sure. Got our ingredients here. We've got the ham ready to go in there. Mm -mm, fry pan ready to go. A bit of oil. You need the oil. Definitely salt and pepper. going to need them. Butter. Milk. And the bread for the toast. Now, you don't have to have yours on toast, but I like to have mine on toast. Caddy's been real good. Oh, right as they come over here. You want a dummy? Mmm. <laughs> -hmm. It's yummy. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna have to come home. We're coming to a ball now. So we got about 10 minutes. I'll go calm Cardi down and I'll be back. We're back. Carter's all nice and settled again. Hey baby. Right, so I poke the potatoes, they're nice and soft now. So we'll turn the gas off. Take it over here. Just get straight Right. Strain them out. Then back into the Now, now you want to add about a tablespoon, maybe a bit more butter. You just a wee bit of milk, a bit of salt and pepper. And mash it up. I guess that one's not quite soft enough, but there is some there. Right. So it'll stay thick enough if you go through and get all the more out. Mesh. Right, then, once you've done that, come over to the oven. 
<laughs> Chatty with the hiccups. You got the hiccups, bye bye. <laughs> Cutie. Right. So now, you get this going. Chuck in a bit of spray, oil spray. Very nice. So I got the ham, got my ham here, mashed potatoes here, that's heating up. Katie boy seen such a good boy, just chilling. Hey Bubba, who's this? Katie. Katie. What's this baby? What's this Katie baby? This little duck. What is that? Oh, I love you, you beautiful boy. Right. So, it's nice and warm in there. You just take it. So, me, you want to hear that nice sizzle. Mm -mm -mm. That's made more than I thought. So we chuck that in, then get your ham, just rip up little bits, chuck it through it, just little bits. You don't want too much ham. You can never have enough to ham. Oh yeah. Right, now, so, what you want to do is just get a nice firm spatula and just move it around. I made a lot. There is a lot here. Please just leave that to sit. I'm going to go deal with Cardi and I'll be right back. Right, so we're back. We're still just frying it up. You know, it's going to take a good, I don't know, five, ten minutes just to slowly cook it up. You don't want to have it too high, though. You only want to have it on a low heat, so you're not just burning the ass off it. Got the toast cooking. So you pretty much know it's ready by the sort of looks here. It's getting that nice crispy look to it. That's how you know when it's ready. This one here is pretty much good to go. I got my toast over here, all buttered and ready to go. So let's put it on some toast and try it out.
Right, yeah. Taste this, taste this. Really good. Really good. So, if you like what you've seen, like and subscribe, and there'll be some more. What do you say, Katie? Bye bye. Thank you.